Good day. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Douglas Harder. In this topic, we are going to discuss the vector representation of a line. So in this topic, we will describe the vector representation of a line in R3. We will derive an ideal representation, and then we will determine the point on that line that is closest to a given arbitrary point W using the ideal representation and we will find a formula that calculates the minimum distance from an arbitrary point W to a particular given line. Now in R3, or in fact in any vector space in general, a vector representation of the line is of the form u plus alpha times v, where u is any point on the line, V is a non-zero vector parallel to the line, and alpha takes on any real number. Now, any line has infinitely many vector representations. So for example, both of these vector representations represent the exact same line. So question. Is any one representation better than the others? Now, first recall that any point in three space will be associated with some form of units, say meters. So if our measure is in terms of meters, and it happens that the two norm of the vector V is equal to one, then it immediately follows that the point u plus alpha times v is the absolute value of alpha meters away from the point u. Also, the point u may be chosen to be any point on the line. Consequently, on any line, you should be aware that there is exactly one point that satisfies both of these conditions. It has the smallest norm, that is, it is the point on the line that is closest to the origin. Also, that point or vector is perpendicular to V. Thus, we would prefer to represent a line with the following. The vector V is normalized and the vector U is perpendicular to the line. That is, U is perpendicular to V. Thus, given an arbitrary representation of a line, we can first normalize V so that the expression of our line is now U plus alpha times a normalized vector. Having done so, we can now find the component of U that is perpendicular to V, which is just this expression here, U minus the projection of U onto V. And again, because V is now a normalized vector, that expression is very much so simplified. Of course, because U is a point on the line, we do not at this point normalize the vector U. We will represent this specific U as U perp, meaning that it is the point on the line that is perpendicular to that line. So for example, consider the line described by this vector representation. We would first normalize the vector V. And interestingly enough, we could actually choose either V or negative V. Both of them work. And next we find the component of U perpendicular to V. So we subtract from U the projection of U onto V. This is now our ideal representation, and it's unique up to plus or minus the vector v. Now, suppose that we have this preferred representation of a line. What is the point on that line that is closest to an arbitrary vector w? Well, fortunately, because u perp is already perpendicular to the normalized vector v, all we need to do is project w onto 
the normalized vector. Basically, uh, it's simply this expression here. So all we need to do is calculate the inner product between V and W. Now, this is a much more difficult problem for an arbitrary vector representation U plus alpha V. So our choice of ensuring that V is normalized and that U is perpendicular to V simplifies this problem greatly. So for example, what is the point on this line, which we calculated previously, that is closest to the point 1, 1, 1? Again, because u perp is already orthogonal to v, all we need to do is project w onto v and add that onto the vector u perp, which gives us this point here. So this is the point on the previous line that is closest to the point 1, 1, 1. All right, given that this point is the point on the line closest to the vector w, we also have that the coefficient of v is this value here, which is just 0 0.52. Consequently, if we are using meters, this closest point on the line is 0.52 meters from the point u perp. Actually, you can verify that this is indeed the closest point to W by measuring, for example, the distance from W to this point here, and say, for example, the distance from W to U perp plus 0 0.51 times the normalized V, or U perp plus 0 0.53 times the normalized vector V. Now you can also calculate the distance to the line from W with this reasonably straightforward formula. Given that you've already probably pre-calculated the two norm of U perp, and we needed already to calculate the inner product of V and W, then this is a reasonably straightforward calculation. In fact, you can even derive this by expanding this expression and simplifying and then subsequently taking the square root. Now, in this example, the distance from the point 1, 1, 1 to the line that we found is approximately 21.166 meters. Now note, there's nothing in this topic that's actually specific to R3, and so consequently, all of these techniques can be used to describe lines in Rn. However, in general, this is often not necessary. This is usually is only really applicable, or at least most applicable, in R3. Following this topic, you now understand the vector representation of a line. You know how to find the ideal representation of a given line. You can use this representation to find the point on the line that is closest to a given point w and are aware of a formula to calculate the minimum distance from w to an ideal representation of a line. Here are the references, acknowledgements, the colophon, and a disclaimer. Cheers!